I am Vicki Wagner and I am standing at the Lemley Theater on Wilshire Boulevard for the premiere of Hannah Free here in Los Angeles starring Sharon Gless. Executive producer Tracy Baim has brought this film all across the world and it's a wonderful story of love that stands the test of time. And I'm here with Sharon Glass, and she is the star of Hannah Free. And Sharon, uh, you have had a long history with the gay community, and you have done a lot for the gay community. What made you decide to do this movie? Um, Claudia Allen, who wrote it. Really? Yes, called me, and she's, she's a very famous lesbian playwright in Chicago. And she um, has written like 23 films, um, many of them award-winning. This was one of them. And she called, Tyne Daly and I did one of her plays for radio, I did one of her plays in Chicago, and then she called me last year and she said, they're putting one of my plays on film, you want to be in it? Really? Yeah, and I said, sure. She said, don't you want to know which one? I said, no. <laughs> you didn't even care? No, I didn't care, because she writes women so beautifully. Oh, really? And then this is what happened, so and, and we now, shot it in 18 days. You're 18 days? Oh my God, that's a record, you're kidding me. No, it's, it's a little film, it's a little film, but... Um, and did you guys shoot it in Chicago or where? We shot every frame in Chicago. Was it? I'm from Chicago, you know. You? Yes, yes, I am. Great. Was it like boiling hot there? Was it a change of no, weather? No, it was for November. You? Oh, it was November. November. So I was, was there. I was there. That I was there to watch Obama be elected. Oh, oh, wow. Well, that was yeah. that must have been totally exciting. It was. It was. That the was, city was on fire. So now you you've done Cagney and Lacey. You're very well known. You were on Queer as Folk. What's coming up next for you? Well, I'm I'm going to be starting my fourth year on Burn Notice. And. It's the number one cable show in the nation. It is. It is on USA. And I play the mother from hell. <laughs> um, well, you're used to playing a mother because you played a mother on Queer as Folk, right? That's right. This is a different mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but both of my son's names were Michael. Oh, my brother's name is Michael. So is my brother. Let me ask you one question. Um, have you ever played a lesbian before? Uh, actually, just before I started Hannah Free, um, I did two days on an Ed Harris movie. Really? And I wanted to work with Amy Madigan. So I did two days of an old lesbian in a wheelchair. And you're going to see I'm playing an old lesbian in a wheelchair in this. I think it's... You're a typecast. <laughs> She's typecast as an old lesbian in a wheelchair. Did you have any difficulty with any of the scenes or just as an... Because I'm not an actress, so just kissing a woman was just fine? No, didn't, no, it was, I couldn't have been more comfortable. Couldn't have been more, well, well, she couldn't be more comfortable kissing a woman. You know, you're in care. It was, it was lovely. Maureen Gallagher is fabulous. And actually, all the sex scenes are done by the woman who plays me at 30. Oh, so you, you got out of that. Tonight, Kelly Strickland, yeah. who so plays me at 30. <laughs> and then there's a little girl who plays me at 10. Were you happy with your body double? <laughs> oh, yeah, she's wonderful. You'll see. She looks amazingly like me. It's, it's scary. When you were younger? Yes, she does. You'll see her. You'll see instantly who it is on film. Well, thank you so much for being on the Vicki Wagner Show, and I'm sure the, the, the show's going to be fabulous. And ladies and gentlemen, Sharon Glass, famous movie star, actress extraordinaire. Oh, please. Well, we're here with Ann Hageman, one of the stars of Hannah Free. And Ann, tell us, why are, did you decide to be in this movie? The script is fantastic. Um, I was very familiar with Claudia Allen's writing, who's a script writer and screenwriter. And in real life, my sister's a lesbian. Oh, wow. And there's a lot of parallel between my character and my sister. She lives in a small town, just like Rachel. And I wanted to do this so strongly as a tribute to my sister. Um, when she found out I was trying out for it, she was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, you've got to do this, you've got to do this, you've got to do this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, just thrilled for the whole thing. Um, and, my God, it was a chance to play, you know, some love scenes with Sharon Glass. What more can you ask for, right? Oh, wow. We, we haven't seen the movie yet, so we didn't <laughs> well, even know that. Well, Mike, yes. Uh, yeah, I don't want to give it all away, but, yeah, okay. So, and uh, it was, What was that like? I mean, because you're, you're straight. I mean, was it, did it weird you out or what? Um, no, not at all. And, actually, most of my kissing is with Kelly Strickland, who plays Hannah as a younger oh, version. okay. Um, no. So girl for the price of one exactly exactly <laughs> love is love and uh kelly's a great kisser too by the way so um it wasn't an issue for me as an actress i just really indulge myself in every aspect of the character and uh not a problem and i do it again well great well i'm so looking forward to it i know you're not a lesbian but i think you told me a little <laughs> secret didn't you that um okay. Anne told us that even yeah. though she's not a lesbian she might want to sleep with jodie foster i would totally turn gay for jodie foster so jodie if you're listening i'm out there and i also love you rosie o'donnell because you have a great sense of humor yeah, cross and between rosie and jodie oh yeah 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 exactly <laughs> you couldn't get further from two different women both right okay <laughs> yeah, well, we, we, we love it we're, we're looking forward to seeing the movie Thank you so much. and i'm Wow. All right. So nice Take to care. meet you. Wendy, tell me a little bit about why you decided to direct this movie. 
You know, it was it was a great, great opportunity, first of all, to direct Sharon Glass, who I've always loved and appreciated as an actor and as a character. Um, also, I love the story. I love love stories. I'm a big sucker for love <laughs> stories, I, I, even if they don't end well. You know, I like complexity, flawed characters. I like that. So if Hannah Free is that kind of story. I was chosen to be the director, and I helped Claudia Allen, the original playwright, I helped her adapt it for screenplay. I'm here with Jackie Jackson, who plays Greta in the movie. Hi, Jackie. How are you today? Good. How are you? Great. So is this your first screening here in L.A.? Uh, no, this is the second screening. We were at Outfest, first of all, and uh, this is our... I think this is the third time on the West Coast, because we were also up at San Francisco for the world premiere. Tell me a little bit about your role in the movie. Well, I play Greta. Uh, Greta comes in towards the middle of the film and uh, meets Hannah later in her life when she's in the nursing home. Uh, Hannah and I strike up a friendship, a conversation, and I find out that she is uh, in love with a woman and is not allowed to see her in the nursing home because of the family rights and everything. So. I find this completely unacceptable and take her on this clandestine mission to go and find her lover and they see each other and then it comes to light that I am her lover's great granddaughter. How did you like playing a lesbian? Did you get any flack from your parents or anything like that? You know, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri and uh, you'd think that being Bible Belty it would matter a little bit more to my parents but they've always been very allied, very supportive. So. Um, not too much, no. I've always had a lot of support from my family, a lot of support from my friends. I'm here with Kelly Strickland, and she plays the young Hannah, who's the young Sharon Glass in the movie, Hannah Free. So, Kelly, tell me what it was like playing this character for you. Uh, I love this character. I think she's great. I love her sense of wanderlust, um, and I think I actually share that with her a little bit, that yeah, yeah. Uh, the need to see what's out there and... Um, just tremendous independence and living her life uh, with total disregard of the judgment of others. <laughs> You're way butcher in the movie than you are in real life. Oh, I'm not. You. There are many, many uh, little young femme girls who are terrifically disappointed to <laughs> me after eyes out. the movie. Yeah, they're like, really, the heels? Oh. <laughs> I called the woman that I was dating at the time on the way back from the audition because I thought they were going to be reading me for Rachel. And when they started reading me for Hannah, I called in sort of a panic and I said, they're reading me for the butch one. And she gave me this really great advice, which was you only have to be more butch than she is. Did you have any problem with the sex scenes or anything? Um, you know, sex scenes are always awkward. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, you know, you can't really obviously tell this when you're watching a film, but there are about 10 people within six inches of you. and. Yeah. Um, it's uncomfortable and it's awkward, but Anne and I, you know, we got to be good buddies during the filming, and um, so, you know, by the end, we were old pros. I loved the film. Definitely uh, would support people going to see and encourage people to go see the film. I particularly love when you've gotten to work with someone, you know, up close a good bit, to, to get to see some of those looks coming through on screen that, you know, you got in person. Right, right. Um, you know, I'm like, oh, wow, I... You right. know, she gave me that look. You know, <laughs> I remember when she gave yeah. me that look, yeah. and you know, because you, you know, it's just it. It's when somebody's doing it right, they're, you know, using themselves, and Sharon certainly does use every every bit of herself in uh, in her work and in this film. So you, you yeah. worked together for how long? Did you guys work together? Four years. Four years. Do yeah. you miss it? Uh, you know, I, I think it 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 was an amazing amazing experience. In some ways, I do miss it, and you know, and in other ways, I know that it's uh, uh, you know everything has its time. Well, it's always good to see you, Robert, and thank yeah. you so much for stopping by. And thank you. Thank you so much, Robert Gant, here at the premiere of Hannah Free.